Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome back to Hush Hush. Wait, I'm missing someone. Oh shit! <laughs> welcome back to Hush Hush. <laughs> uh, Sonic's here again. Ooh. Also, before we get this video started, the last video, uh, part 4, got over a thousand views and we have boosted up eight subscribers since the last time I did this. Actual insanity. Thank you very much everyone for watching. Um, and collectively in the past, throughout the month of September, we've, I collected uh, 1,500 views, 1,500 views plus. And uh, it's still mind blowing that I, with the channel, like, with how many subscribers I have, that's mind-blowing. Like, holy shit. <laughs> but thank you guys very much for watching this, this, this insanity ensues. But really, thank you for watching this, and I hope you guys are really enjoying this, because I'm, because I'm enjoying doing this. So, whew. let's get back into some more hush hush. First, What's going on at the bakery? Guide. Hey, sugar. Nice to see you again. Hey, little bunny bell. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you if you happen to be allergic to anything. Not that I know of. Well, I've got quite a few things I want to put in your mouth and get your opinion on. Hmm. And just so we're clear, I am talking about bacon here. <laughs> I understand you don't need to get lewd with me. So let me know if you have any aversions, and I'll promote you to Royal Guinea Pig. Who's the Royal Guinea Pig? Welcome by the Queen Bean. You catch a whiff of coffee that overwhelms your senses and compels you to purchase a cup. Looking ahead inside, however, you see a long queue of other customers in enormous, simply unacceptable line. <sighs> you turn to leave, but you know, notice the Lotus behind the counter she's apologizing to she's apologizing to the cut to a customer apparently she got the order wrong yikes she spots you points to the cup and mouths the words for you for free and dashes off to make the right drink damn you take the cup somehow it tastes better than any other cup of coffee you've ever had oh sweet you leave with a thousand icy stares from a from the other customers who must wait and pay. Glory is mine! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I should mention this. This is, uh... The second chance I have with L. If I don't... If I select this... Game over, pal. Um, so, let's stop by the bakery again. Hey, sugar. Always a pleasure to see you walk through that door. It certainly is a pleasure, I guess. I was just about to take some cookies out. Take a look around and let me know if anything catches a sweet tooth. I already have Pepsi in front of me, so... And if you're really looking for something sweet, well, I'll be in the back. <laughs> All right. Whatever you say. Uh, let's get some coffee. More coffee. Hello, my friend. Oh. Welcome to the best coffee place in all of Sabrosa. Hello, Dimitri. My sister is away at the moment, but I would be very pleased to make your order. What can I get for you today? Large coffee, please. Coming right up. A coffee guaranteed to change your life. Here you are, my friend. Be well, drink well. Mm. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Dimitri. Okay, don't go to the hospital, go t to here. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you'll get game over if you do that. Um, so, first L day. L takes a while. It takes. It it takes a while to drive the address Elle gave you. It's far from town, on the road sprawling with fancy houses on enormous properties. 
you finally reach your friend's house, which is the fanciest by far. As you drive up to the main gate of the estate, you hear a voice over the intercom. Yes? Can I help you? What business brings you to the Reed Estate? I leave business at the office, but it would be my pleasure to come in. Miss Reed is expecting me. Ah, well put. Very good then. Please come up to the house. I shall meet you at the front entrance. Okie dokie. As you reach the front door, a rather intense young man approaches. Good day. Welcome to Reed Manor. My name is Dorian Reed. I'm more or less the head of the household, which, as you can see, includes manning the front gate. Uh. More to the point, it is also my distinct privilege to have the title of Elle's older brother, which means I get to first meet anyone who calls upon her. Hmm. And so here, destiny finds us. How do you do? How do I do? Uh, any choice. Well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Charmed, I'm sure. Well, as much as I enjoy standing in my driveway and bantering with a stranger, there are other matters I must attend to today. None so as important as this, but only marginally so. Hmm. So, let us not beat around the bush. I have a sworn duty to uphold. And being cute about it only draws out the process, then risks, misunderstandings. What are your intentions with my sister? Dude, we just met. I, I have no intentions to put with her. Pretty much just ice cream and conversation at this point. Hmm. Ice cream and conversation are both in the acceptable category. My face itches. <laughs> Wait here just a moment. I'll go fetch Elle. Okay. Elle, dear! Your guest has arrived! Oh, hello! It's nice to see you again. Dorian, I hope you weren't, um, overbearing with our guest. As I'm sure your friend will attest, I was nothing if not polite and welcoming. Mm. I only made a handful of threats. Quite harmless, I assure you. Oh my! I hope not! The fuck's going on with me? <laughs> Have fun, El. Might I suggest taking our new friend for a walk around the grounds? The landscapers just finished trimming the hedges on the south lawn into shapes of animals. It's very fetching. The two of you have fun. Let me know if you need anything. You especially, Al. Let me know if you feel a bad spell coming on. Bad spell? Of course, Dorian. See you later. Hmm. I'm so glad to see you. When I saw Dorian, sir, I thought he was you for a moment and started flirting with him. Oh! <laughs> I believed you for a moment there. Oh. I'm usually not very good at picking up on sarcasm, so I appreciate it when it's neatly laid out like fresh linen. Hmm. Okay. Dorian is just super protective of me, and he has this way of making my guests... scarce. <laughs> well, as I like to say, only precious things are worth protecting. Oh, yes. Well, thank you for saying so. I hope you meant that as a compliment, because otherwise, I have no earthly clue what you could have meant. Mm. Dorian was right about one thing, though. The gardens look very nice right after a hedging. Would you care to walk with me? Would it miss it for the world? Well, if the world rings you, feel free to take the call. I would hate to come between the two of you. You take her by the hand and follow her through the large mansion doors and stepping out into the gardens. Every time I visit the estate, I walk down this way. I like sitting by the creek that runs through the west end of the property, just past the stables. Mm, cool. er, I suppose that might sound a bit parvenu. Sorry. I don't want to come across as a snob. I mean, you know what parvenu means, but it sounds really pretty the way you say it. Oh, well, I suppose if it's too pretty, I could try growling or something when I say it. I 
just find it's difficult not to come across as a braggart when giving the tour. Especially if someone is on their best behavior, and I'm making it awkward without realizing it. Mm. Okay, here. Just through this little hedge. I'll show you my secret place. Secret place? And here we are. My little quiet place. My home away from home, away from home. <laughs> Dorian hardly ever comes down here. He dislikes the butterflies. So, whenever I need some alone time, I take a book and a picnic down here and enjoy the peace and quiet. We all can wish that in our lives. What do you think? Kind of pretty, in that magic garden sort of way. The view is definitely pretty from where I'm standing. <sighs> Well, that's good. If you found it unusually ugly, I would probably just have to ask you to leave. <laughs> We're talking about, you know. I mean, that's a little. <sighs> I don't know. So, I've been thinking a lot about our short exchange in the bakery. I was wondering if you could clear up some things for me. I always get a bit flustered when strangers strike up conversations, so very likely I was a bit behind the conversation. I was just wondering, what made you start chatting with me? I thought for a few moments that maybe you were selling protein shakes or soap or something. So, I was just worried that maybe I missed something important, because I couldn't quite make sense of it. Should, uh, should I say it out loud? <clears throat> I thought you looked really kind, interesting, and pretty. It took all my nerves to say hello. Wow. I mean, that's a delightful reason that I wasn't expecting you to say. Well, good then. That's settled. Is it, uh, warmer than usual out today? <sighs> it's warmer than usual in my room. That ain't no lie. Oh, but look at me talking your poor ear off. I've barely given you a chance to breathe, let alone partake in the conversation. Well, what brings you to town? Do you have any burning questions to ask? Ask all three questions. I'm just visiting town for a month. I heard this place was beautiful, particularly the beaches. Oh my, yes it is. Though, to be honest, I haven't been to the beaches since I was very young. <sighs> Dorian and my parents don't tend to trust public places like that. They usually insist I swim in the pool where Francois the lifeguard can watch out for me. Francois. Anything else on your mind? I always wanted to ask someone with a mansion. <laughs> is, there a super, is there a secret cave underneath it? Like, in case you wanted to become a superhero? <laughs> No, silly. Or at least I've never come across one in my searches. No, I'm afraid there's no superhero cave, or ghosts, or secret tunnels. Nothing actually interesting gets to happen here. Thank you for saying no ghosts. I can tell you're thinking hard. Your nose does this cute scrunchy thing. <laughs> I must... I do have a burning question. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I MUST KNOW! Hmm... It changes daily, I think. Today, it is butter pecan. But I feel like tomorrow will be a maple walnut kind of day. Is that everything? Your brother said something about a bad spell. Can I ask what he meant? Oh, certainly. I sort of wish he hadn't said anything. Because it's really nothing important. Hmm. Dorian fusses about me so much because I have a condition. Hmm. Don't worry, it isn't anything contagious or life threatening. I have what's called narcolepsy. Have you ever heard of it? <laughs> isn't that. Where you can create ink control zombies. <laughs> no, no, you silly goof. That's necromancy. But boy, would things be different if that were actually the case. 
Narcolepsy is a brain condition that affects my level of sleepiness and wakefulness. Sometimes, I get spontaneously tired and fall asleep, even in the middle of doing something active. Well, that's me. <laughs> it's not quite as dramatic as it's sometimes shown on TV, but I have fallen asleep in some pretty hazardous situations. Hmm. One time I was riding my horse, and luckily I was strapped in tight. But it's severe enough that I don't drive, or skydive, I suppose? Huh. I don't mind telling you though, because I usually let new acquaintances know right away, just so they don't think I'm being rude if I fall asleep during our conversation. Huh. I hope all of that doesn't make you uncomfortable. I've had a few friendships hit a bump because of it. Just my opinion, but it sounds like you've got it handled. Is your brother overdoing the whole protect L thing? Dorian means well. He and my parents have always been super protective of me since I was little. They worry that someday I'm going to sleepwalk into the river or something. I know I won't let that happen. That's part of the reason why Dorian had to meet you first, before any socializing. My parents insist I get family approval before going out with anyone. Mm. It's hard to fault them. But, I do wish they would relax a little. But I'm doing okay. That's good. Well, we should probably pack up. I have a violin lesson in 25 minutes, and Maestro Alessandrini is quite unforgiving if I'm late. Every teacher is unforgiving when, the, when a student's late. But I had a very nice time walking in circles around my brother's house. <laughs> I do believe that you passed the first Dorian test, though. So, he might actually let me meet up with you somewhere else. Like the cinema, or my own house. Would you like to have an outing with me sometime? <laughs> You took the words right out of my mouth, so I'll take the answer I was hoping for from yours. Yes. Oh, wonderful! And you're right, that would have been my answer. You word thief. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit me today. Meeting my brother is an odd formality. I dare say I wouldn't miss it if it went away. Hmm. But. I deeply appreciate the effort. The pleasure is all mine. I can assure you that's debatable. Man, getting an argument now, please. No. The shit. I'll be in touch. Until next time, take care. Aw, oh, yeah. What did that achievement say? Hold on. I gotta see that one. A sick. Question mark performance. Diana plus on Bella's first date. Boop. It is July sixth. Oh hey Casey, how you doing? Hey, I just wanted you to know that I'm dressed in something cute and pointing on a little fashion show for my stuffed animals. Anyway, don't be bad and maybe I'll let you take a peek. Or maybe not. Just don't be a jerk. Okay, stop bugging me. Yeah, you're bugging me! <laughs> Okay, bye. I need to get the fuck out of here. I don't have time to talk, but I was thinking about you at work, and I accidentally started. And I was accidentally staring at someone else, and apparently I was a bit bedroom -z doing it. Long story short, I was thinking about you, and it bought me an hour of awkward flirting from a pimply 13 year old. Mio, come on! You know better! I hope you're happy. Well, thank you. So yeah, thinking about you. Hopefully your day is going good. My day's going alright. No, it's actually going good. So, hello, Elle. Hello again. I just wanted to let you know that I had a wonderful time with you on our little walk. I hope that you should feel similarly. You would be interested in future walks. We could also sit 
with one another in chat. I'm fairly flexible. That's good. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope to hear you from from you again soon. Take care. Home. Other. This is Serena. Your adorable digital persona assistant. There's. There is an emergency situation at your place. So, for instance, your dex motion sensors have been activated. Please confirm the presence of an intruder and notify law enforcement immediately. Alert the Serena again. Make sure you're drinking enough milk. Vitamin D! I have not been drinking enough milk. Wow, we got no other option than just home. Let's head home then, I guess. You arrive to your rental house as it starts getting dark. The house is on a quiet street and there don't appear to be any people walking about. Ah, rain. Depresso mode activate. <laughs> Depresso, that's gonna be something when I'm depressed and I get an espresso at Starbucks. <laughs> Just as you reach your door and you're about to walk inside, you know someone's lying down on your porch. On your porch couch. Oh. Um. Hello. Don't mind me. I was just noticing how nice your porch was. It's very nice. Uh, sensor, please. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you should have someone sleep here tonight to make sure no one takes it. I can do that. I'm good at sleeping on porches. Thank God you're censoring her uh, place. And it shouldn't be said where. sleepy uh sure but i guess i should interview you first can't just let any old porch sleeper guard my porch oh my i should have anticipated that i'm afraid i don't have any documents prepared for an interview because i'm a kitty are you <laughs> are you really a kitty but i'll give it a try i'm not afraid of anything except spiders and Cucumbers! Why? Cucumbers are healthy for you, come on. So, what will it take to let me sleep on your porch? I'm prepared to negotiate. Alright. Let me ask you a question. What do you do if the porch is attacked by drop bears? I suppose I would die. Such is the fate of all who spar with drop bears. Hmm. That question was really challenging. Maybe I should have an eight-hour nap on your porch before we continue. Hey, listen, it's really dreadful out. Do you want to just come inside? I've got... Milk? And probably some tuna. Oh, oh my, yes! I love tuna so much! I would marry tuna, were it not for societal complications and the present danger of eating my spouse. <laughs> okay. You should reconsider the milk, though. Kitties are mostly lactose intolerant. Well, okay, maybe just one saucer. Just a saucer, okay. So do you mean it? I can stay here tonight? I promise not to knock your stuff off the counter. Or at least, not on purpose. I can't believe I did so well in my very first interview. Yay for me! Good job, Quill. Pat, pat, pat. Quill? I'm so glad I picked your porch to try and sneak onto. Even if it's not a veranda, it's now my favorite place in the world. That's good to know. So, where's the best place for me to sleep tonight? Any choice. Uh, I got a super comfy bed in here. I'll crash on the couch so you've got lots of room. Oh my, you're so generous. I wish I had a fish head or something to give you. To show you my gratitude. Fish head? I'd rather have something else than just a fish head, but thanks. Thank you, thank you. Now if you'll excuse me, 
I'm already asleep. <laughs> All right. Yay! Inside. I'm definitely an inside kitty, despite my ongoing obsession with outside. As Quill, as Quill joins you by your side, you fumble with the keys for a few moments before opening the door. Loading. Snake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pulling, it, pulling the front door open it takes Quill a few moments, standing in the doorway before she finally comes inside. Looking around at the walls and ceiling, she moves inside just far enough to allow you to close the door. Ah. Standing there with her arms crossed, shivering, she looks at you with a blank stare for a few moments before she finally speaks again. Thank you again for letting me in your house. It is a nice house. I especially like the fact that it has a roof that appears to be rainproof. It's called a seal. That's a very special kind of magic to be rainproof. Rainproof. But speaking of your house, I'm sorry that I appear to be watering it. I didn't mean to invite the water in. It's just sneaky rain that stuck to my fur. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, sneaky rain. These puddles are evidence of your deviousness. Don't even try to deny it. Oh, any choice. Tell me about the water. It's not so. It's still match for the power of ignoring it until it dries. That's what. Uh... Oh, I doubt it. Kitties only sweat through their paws. If you let me touch you, you'll see that I'm very dry. Okay. Quill begins to wander through the house, capriculously looking into into the various rooms. When she reaches the bathroom, she nods approvingly. Okay, this looks good. If you don't mind, I'm going to find a basket of clean linens to lie in and lick myself clean. I will also accept any crawl spaces beneath your stairs, or on top of any major electronics you may have, if clean linen isn't available. I'd rather not put let you go on the electronics, because, uh, it would lead to bad things. It should only take a few hours. You won't even know I'm here, save for the repetitive lickety-lick sound I'll be making. Are you sure you want to lick yourself clean? I can't imagine it would be entirely pleasant. It is a somewhat distressing process when you're this cold and wet and matted. <laughs> well, every so often, a kitty can be given a real bath in a real bathtub. If you make sure not to use any harsh soaps or conditioners. Soaps and conditioners are rare in the wild, so most kitties don't use them at all. Mm. I'm usually not super happy about baths, but I'll make an exception this time, so I can stop tracking mud and water all over your house. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mind assisting me in the bathtubbing? Okay, I guess I'll grab you a house coat and some slippers. Slippers! Yes, thank you. I would love something to chew on afterwards. You lead Quill over to the large bathtub and start to fill it. She watches the water intensely, intently, not intensely, as it begins to fill. Suspicion and a grudging res respect seems to fill her expression. Now she you're not sure what to make of it. You know, there are many legends when it comes to the great feud between water and kitties. <laughs> Some say that water was the reason that kitties were no longer worshipped as gods. That water was jealous and stupid and chased the kitties from their kingdoms. Others believe that water is made from the spirit of an evil dog. Always trying to capture kitties. Always being a bad boy. Okay. I mostly just hate getting my fur wet. It takes forever to lick myself back to normal. Not gonna say it. She stares at the water until the tub is full and the water has become completely still. And she finally nods to stands. She moves her clothes. Oh boy. Censoring time. 
and delicately folds them into a pile. As she kneels for a moment, next to the bathtub, again, suspiciously pawing at it. Pawing at it for a moment. You don't quite get a solid look at her tail before she kneels down. Dude, stop looking. <laughs> so you're still not entirely sure what's going on there. But in every other way, she appears to be a young, beautiful girl. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm just gonna... Whew. As you wait for her to get in, you notice that she seems utterly unruffled, being be naked in your presence. It's difficult not to stare at her naked body. You feel like you need to make a choice. Help bathe her and just see where things go. Actually, my skin is burning. Um, I'm gonna put my webcam in front of the screen for a second. Yeah, I got an idea how to censor it. Okay. No, no, don't turn on the cold water. I just didn't notice how cold, wet, and miserable I was. I guess I'm usually too happy of a kitty to let that stuff get me down. So, I noticed that you smell really good, and your house smells good, but they don't smell the same. So is this your house? Did you steal it? No, no. I'm just borrowing it, I guess. I see. That makes sense. Only, it doesn't, because that's not how houses really work at all. Well, let me know if you ever want to lend it to someone else. I know a kitty that would be really pleased to have it. And her name is Quill. A.K.A. Hey, you. She takes her hand and insistently puts a washcloth into it. Then she guides you to her back, nodding approvingly. Oh. Have you ever noticed that it's impossible to scratch your ear and have it feel as amazing as when someone else does that? I think that's a sign we should be nicer to each other. I like thinking about that stuff when I'm having my third or fourth nap of the day. What about you? What kind of stuff do you like to think about? Mm. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes! That feels so good! Thank you, thank you. There's nothing like an ear scratch to make you feel safe. And not at all that you're hiding from someone. Hiding from someone. <laughs> yeah, that's a good secret. The girl repositions herself as you scrub her boobies. <laughs> she lets out a purr as you lather up a storm of suds and then quickly slides back into the water into the water to rinse. She seems to notice that you react, react a little differently to watching her and she gives you a blink Accusatory stare. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I making you jealous? You can climb in here with me if you're feeling left out. I was just thinking how lucky it was that it was raining. Otherwise, I may not have met you. Hmm, that's the first time I've ever heard someone say that the rain was lucky. <laughs> you're a strange kitty, but I like your sassy attitude. That didn't really sound sassy. Maybe I'm getting human emotions wrong. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I was feeling pretty low before you got here. And there's still a bunch of stuff that I'm really, really worried about. There's a bunch of stuff I'm worried about too, like... I'm in danger sometimes. Oh, yes! I had that feeling too. I mean, I usually don't, but now I do too. Huh, okay, cool. That makes me feel a little better. Knowing that I'm not the only one who feels like they could be destroyed at any moment. What a relief. 
After a few more moments of bathing, Quill seems happy and content. You pull the plug and help her into a towel, which soon becomes eight or nine more. She can, so she can dry properly. As she's doing that, you throw her clothes into the wash. You find her seated on the couch in the living room when you come when you come back upstairs. I really wasn't expecting to find someone so nice. There are lots of not nice people in this town, which can make it a scary place sometimes. Hmm. If I were you, I would definitely stay in this house all of the time, and definitely stay away from the street alleys downtown late at night. They're especially dangerous for kitties and other living creatures. Uh. Hmm. I can tell that you have more stuff on your mind, and even though I'm getting a little sleepy, I don't mind answering a couple more questions. Oh, God. Do you mind if I ask you? You seem really different from the other kitties that I've seen. Have you... always been a kitty? I think I mentioned that I'm tall for my age, which seems to confuse people. And other kitties. Hmm. <sighs> oh, excuse me. That yawn wanted out really bad. And it left the front door open. Thank you for letting me sleep here. Normally I'm nocturnal and would just start running kitty errands now. But I'm sleepy. Where can I sleep? I'm thinking the floor is looking especially available. Do you want to share the bed with me? That sounds like a nice idea. I love sleeping at the foot of a bed, on a foot, with my foot hanging off. It's a very particular combination that I'm fond of. Hmm. Thank you again for your kindness. I'm not sure if you know, but being kind to kitties is the best way to earn good luck. I have the least amount of buff and luck for... Those two, I'm tired as fuck. If I see any good luck lying around, I'll make sure to pounce on it for you. <sighs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. Mm, kiss you good night. <laughs> she claws your lip with her fingernail. And laughs and you jump back. <laughs> gotcha. Prrr. Ow. With the lights out. You lie back when the house is when the house is still. You can hear the strange cat girls snoring. It's been a long time thinking about what you would have done in normal circumstance in more normal circumstances. God, I can't. <laughs> a person who thinks she's a cat is likely a reason to be concerned. But another part of you believes she's one of the five you're supposed to save. Hmm. You decide from now to let her stay. If you can discover whatever reason she might be in danger, maybe you can confirm that you're not imagining this. Imagining all this. If I'll sleep, I wonder if there will be a cat girl there tomorrow. Yay! Look at that! Day 7. The cat girl Quill is still there when you wake, resting peacefully. Put it in bed. Alright. What is it? Ah. Uh, okay, buff. Bing. July 7th. Let's get another coffee. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. It's just one spider lotus. You can do this. <coughs> oh, a customer. Hello. Hola. Aloha. And hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. What can I get for you today? Large coffee, please. Here you are. Have a great day. Okay, there we go. Morning, head to town. All right, cool. This is such a feel-good feeling. The town is bustling today. You see a number of busy shoppers and tourists browsing the local shops. The atmosphere is fun and relaxed, and several people say hello as they pass you. 
You spend an hour looking in the shops without seeing much of anything that interests you. Suddenly, you hear a voice behind you. Freeze! You turn around and see someone pointing a gun at you. Oh shit! Officer Fumi, SPD! I saw what you did! Now get on the ground! I did nothing! For a moment, you, you're completely stunned. All around you, there are gas with surprise and someone close to your screams. The woman closes in on you. I or said, me. get on the ground! Ah, uh, okay. Just as soon as you turn, and you're about to decide what to do, you have some respect here. Look alive, citizen. There's a bad guy behind you. When you look behind you, you see a delinquent getting on the ground. He appears to have dropped a purse he stole. As the boy, a small crowd forms around the officers and handcuffs the delinquent, but you notice her give you a backward glance before someone steps between you. You head back to your car and decide to spend the rest of the day somewhere else. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. What the fuck? <laughs> Go home for a second. Oh, hi! I'm so glad you're home. I need someone to put all the fancy plates back on the counter. Hmm. Are you having a good day? Do you want to pet the kitty? I would indeed like to pet the kitty. Hmm, yes. Thank you. I needed a pet. True story. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go stare out the window. And nothing. Just to make sure it doesn't try anything. Bye! Okay. <laughs> Where do I go? To the park! Let's see what's going on there. I'm walking around through the park. You see people of all descriptions. Jogging, walking, chatting, picnicking, playing. You decide to sit on the bench for a short while. And just people watch. Oh, hello! <laughs> A short while later, you notice a lot of people have turned their attention to so something behind you. You turn and see Bonnabelle and Elle from the bakery. The two of them are jogging. And whatever sports bra they're using have their work cut out for them. That's good. You can't help but stare as they go by. Bonnabelle, can we stop for just a moment? I need a drink of water. Sounds good, sugar. Wouldn't mind a moment to catch my breath. The two of them stop near a bench close to you, first for spacing a bit until they catch your breath, then they sit down. Oh, cool. Ooh, you know Elle. They say you can't really know a gal until you've walked a mile in her shoes. Isn't that theft? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sugar. It's just an expression. Oh, yes, of course. Are, are we just saying silent? I've actually never been fond of that one. Wouldn't you understand her better if you read her diary or something? Yes, darling. But it just means you gotta live what other people live before you can have a chance to understand them. Hmm. Well, I just wanted to add a little variation to that one. I think you can't quite understand a gal. Until you've gone through what her back goes through on a jog. You're talking about, um... Oh, wait a second. L cups her breasts and kind of moves them around and just says, These things. <laughs> amen, darling. Amen. Hey, amen. That's Good that. gracious, is my back killing me? Hmm. I didn't want to say anything, but... Why will they notice me? I've been in terrible pain for most of this jog. What say we go back to the bakery? And I'll fix you up some tea and a couple of cookies that'll just rock your sweet little world. If by rock you mean like a cradle, then my answer is yes. And I would say it again if it helped you decide. Alright, sugar. Let's hit the road. You know, sometimes I wonder if these sweater kittens are worth all the trouble. The 
two of them get up and begin to jog again. Beautiful day, beautiful girls, beautiful everything. The two of them overhear you and look briefly in your direction. They don't stop, but they turn toward each other and giggle as they go past. You may actually hear Bonneville say just before they're out of your, of your earshot. Well, sometimes they're worth it. When you leave, you do your best to shake the last few minutes of your, from your mind. Lest you become distracted all day. Fucking pervert. <laughs> that was a weird event. That just happened. Quick. Peach or Samus? Or, oh, Peach or Samus. <laughs> Peach in the streets, Samus in the sheets. ba da ba ba da ba bop I ain't doing that anymore. <laughs> That's a little forward. There, I mean, I agree. Sorry, I love Shamus. Okay, cool. We're obviously saying heroes for last. Hello, sorry to bother you, but I have a great impression and no one around to ask. If it's called a top hat, does that mean there's a bottom hat too? <laughs> Maybe underneath. Nah, nah. Uh, on second thought, they're probably just talking about the top of my head. Okay, I figured it out. Thanks for listening. Okay. Cassie, what's your opinion on pets? Do you like cats? You, you a dog person? Oh, yeah, I just remember now. Care. But I was gonna use her. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. Don't laugh at me. Just joking. Jeez, don't be so sensitive. Okay. I'm out. Anyway, I'm all causing trouble, and I was thinking it would be more fun with you here. Maybe next time I'll find you. That's all, chill. What do you have to say, Miss Zero? Yeah, back to town. Oh, it's just one quick message. I miss you when I'm not delirious with sleep deprivation. Like, long trip. Anyway, we should hang out next week. I'll bug you soon. Hey. Right. Okay. Go to town. Why not downtown? Let's quickly see. Oh, hi again. I was just laying on top of your laundry. It's so much more comfy than regular laundry. My hard work! Oh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go chew on the corner of your pillow now. I'm afraid I can't reschedule that. Bye! Do anything. Uh, uh, to town. Pretty music. As you walk through town, you notice quickly that not every street remains busy. Busy. Certain streets filled with shops and cafes slow down almost immediately when the song goes down. Others become immediately crowded, revealing where the best nightclubs are. Ah, the usual thing at nighttime. While it's traveling down one of these streets, you notice a pretty girl standing outside of of a quiet restaurant with her sunglasses on. You can't help but stare for a moment, slightly confused, but she notices you taking a long look at her. Eh? Uh. Um. She pushes her sunglasses up to the bridge of her nose. Uh, they were already well and truly as high as they could go. And she seems to be willing herself to be conspicuous. This, of course, makes her much more conspicuous. Much, much more. <clears throat> um, why are you wearing sunglasses at night? The girl gaze. The girl's gaze now towards you. Toward you. You see, and you see the faintest glimmer of a smile pull at the edge of her uh, edges of her mouth. She. Starts to sing. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can. Oh, um, I mean, no reason. I mean, I got drops in my eyes and they're sensitive to light. Of course. Hmm. So, nothing to see here. Which is also why I'm wearing the sunglasses. I love missing anything. You said to go smirk a little bit. 
Cause I miss you, darling, and I don't wanna miss a thing. Oh, uh, never mind. I just like that song. Okay, cool. I like that song too. Every name is. Oh, um, thank you. You too. You continue up the street, on up the street to go watch the scene intently as you go. And you feel her gaze. And you feel her gaze on you the whole way. You hear the sound of. You see. You hear her scandals going through. Scrape, scrape, scrape on the pavement. As she tries to run and catch up with you. Oh. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, please stop for a second. I need to ask you something. Just don't. Just don't turn around for a sec. Uh, uh, okay, I I will turn around right now. You know, like, don't turn around, cause you'll see why you're breaking. Don't turn around. I need to ask you, just now, when you were talking to me, you didn't, I mean, I didn't look familiar to you? Oh. You don't recognize me? I mean, I wish I did. You're beautiful. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you. But I'm being serious. This is serious business. Hmm. I get recognized a lot. It's actually very rare that someone doesn't know who I am. Haven't you heard of Alpha? The Alpha Prelude? The Alpha Experience? Tender is my tenderized heart. Sleepy kitten connection. My dumpster fire family. What? Those are all funny words. Wow, you really don't know who I am. <laughs> no. We don't know who you are. That's so special. That's so fun. I get to meet someone who doesn't know me. Wow. Cool. I'm Alpha. My full name is The Alpha Prelude. I'm a singer. Alpha Prelude, okay. Hey, listen. I got something mega weird to ask you. Is that okay? It's okay if it's not okay. I feel like we've reached a stage in our relationship for mega weird. That's great. I feel the same way. Huh. I would like to ask you on a date. Because I've never had a date with someone who didn't know I was famous. Oh. Do you want to go on a date? And pretend I'm a normal girl who hasn't won nine grabbies? The cutest girl I've ever never met just ask me on a date this is the best day ever ever this is the best day ever yes of course i'll date you uh this first line that's not true <laughs> oh my goodness sure. that was a flirt you're flirting with me am i not this is wonderful i like flirting it's fun Alright, that's cool. Give me your number, and I'll text you for a date when my calendar's free. Hmm. I'm only in town for a couple weeks for a concert. It's my Alpha Cosmic World Tour. Cosmic? But I'll definitely have some time for the dating. Though, we might have to keep a low profile to avoid getting mobbed. Mobbed. I'll talk to you soon. I'm so excited for a normal date. I'm such a lucky girl. Good night! Alice slips her cell phone back into her pocket and skips down the street. You and Alpha started dating. You're not entirely sure what just happened. But I have a feeling your social calendar is going to be fairly busy in the near future. That's enough for one night.
Ugh, I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm still recording. I need to finish my outro. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video so that we could get more views. So uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. That's the end of week one of Hush Hush. So more Hush Hush antics in the future. So thank you everybody so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>